<laughs> thanks for uh, having us out anyway, Tom. Oh, no, worries, thanks for having me. Good, well, thanks good for session. Coming, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was good, yeah. yeah. Probably overcooked yeah. slightly, but uh, no, one of those. We give them the camera's here, that's no, what you yeah, got yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to on the show. Bad, so what's your, uh, what are you training for then? What's coming uh, up in the near future? So next week I'm going to New York to the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix. So I got into that pretty much through New Balance, which is lovely. Um, but yeah, so we're going to, I don't really know what pace that'll be, but just go and see see how we do. Um, and then it's all focused on British Champs really, and hopefully... The 3K of British Champs as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so it's World Indoors Worlds, this year. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, I've got the time outdoors. I'm not sure if I take the outdoor time, but yeah, uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully they do. And then, if not, fingers crossed, we we'll get it next week. But I'm not sure. Yeah, what's, what's the indoor in. qualifying time then? Uh, I think it's 7:45 indoors and 7:40 outdoors. So yeah, it definitely yeah. looks like Miller's games could be that quick anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bit of a shame not to get into that one, but like. It's life. It's um, probably two, three k's back to back weeks. Not, not that great anyway. Yeah. But um, no, no. Looking forward to it all. Indoors, is pretty good fun. And how do you find? So you obviously you're training here on the grass, mm -hmm. and you're focused mainly on the indoor season. Yeah, yeah. How do you find that crosses over or helps or it's just the best work on the grass? It yeah, works pretty for you, much. Yeah. It's all sort of, I guess, focused on outdoors mostly, like um, my season. But. Um, like yeah, I've been we go on the track every other Tuesday and then I've just been adding on some like faster reps at the end, um, just to get this sort of turnover. But yeah, all in all I think it's worked. Like I'm I run better off the strength anyway, so definitely yeah, yeah one of those. And have you done any cross country this winter? Uh, yeah, I did up until Christmas and then after Christmas uh, we had a tank home road out in Italy, which was that was really good fun, lovely race. Um, not the quickest, it's sort of on the cobbles and I think it's 1.25 K laps. So it's a pretty twisty and turny, but I was happy, yeah, with how that went. Yeah, yeah so obviously you've got a really big group here in Loughborough. There's <laughs> a lot of uh, quick guys. So who were you training with today? So uh, who was? Matt and um, George Beardmore, who might have left. Come there on, he is. Oh, we'll let them come, come in, guys. Yeah. yeah. I apologize yeah. for the blood and nosebleed in the session. Um, far and from ideal. Choice. Blood, blood, sweat, sweat and tears, <laughs> literally <laughs> today. I'm a kit choice. Yeah, I, I was overdressed. <laughs> I'm always overdressed. It depends what washing is available. Um, and it's never the, it's either leggings in the summer or. This is how you know yeah. you're with a university group. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I'm George Beardmore. Um, well, 14, 31, 5k, but I think I'm quicker than that now. Um, around 49, 59 to 10 miles, sub 30, 10k. So, yeah, just trying to hang on to these two every session has made me a lot better over the last couple of months. So, uh, yeah, Matt Stonia, uh, Loughborough Uni, 1500 metre runner, 339.17, which is 0 0.002 quicker than Tom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you.
that one looks like the further side of the lot so far. Ah, okay. Point one seven, which is point zero zero two quicker that. than yeah. top. Um, <laughs> that was what was on that last ref today, then. That was, yeah, that was that no, extra point one me. came yeah, through. Yeah, that was just yeah. me he helping. Said he was <laughs> <out of top. laughs> he was yeah. Last rep yeah, I asked him before. Was, like, are you just take this one, down last, last, rep, last rep, and he goes, no, no, no. I think Tom slowed down. I think that was. It's on camera. You saying you're not going to speed up? Um, oh, yeah, well, no, I was embracing my inner, speeding up, so. I was embracing my inner Ben Patterson. <laughs> he just wanted who, to sit on me for the first half. Yeah, <laughs> Ben Patterson special, that last rep, really. <laughs> but yeah, just, just practicing it for Bucks next weekend, really. Yeah, so is that your focus for uh, this part of the season then? Bucks yeah, just because yeah. we, got, we got a good team. Um, and we know we're against some good unis like Birmingham, St Mary's as always. But that's a good, good like weekend, good for the uni. And obviously it didn't happen last year, so it's nice to do a team event and then national cross under 20s which is three weeks down the line yeah um so pretty cross focused matt's, the gonna, matt's gonna win national cross uh, uh yeah. easy <laughs> under 20. somehow still i don't know how, i'm still under yeah. 20 somehow for that but yeah well we'll give that a go and did you run in under 20s in european cross country no was i was under 23 under so i was with tom in the team but okay. tom was quite a yeah, bit yeah. ahead um, no, I wasn't, wasn't in my we had well we had yeah we had i think nine past and present battle students there wow okay um, yeah really two of us in the under 23 team and then rory rory who was here last year um was obviously in the team so yeah. that was a good good luck where, so good runs over where did you both yeah. finish where did you finish uh, i was 14th so okay like, yeah and you, was it was a team team silver medal though yeah, 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 yeah. by two places i think it was. i think we should have won so, shouldn't we but yeah you know it's one of those the irish uh, boys took it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah got you got it yeah you do you do nice to see to be honest so you say there's been a lot of love for people obviously on that team yeah, yeah what do you think it is about being here that makes everyone so good is it the environment is it the group it's the love for coaching bubble. everything yeah, yeah. yeah a little yeah. bubble yeah um just um, the like facilities what, yeah. the coaches the, i think the biggest thing is the squad everyone pushes each other you've got tom tom pushes everyone anything over 400s and then <laughs> anything less you've got guys like ben patterson yeah, and Dave yeah. even like Westy when he's fit like 815 guys Top who off. pushes us in those distances and then Tom in the longer so every distance there's someone pushing you it's been like a little cycle as well like when I was younger I had Paddy, Diva, Will Fuller, Jamie Williamson to sort of look up to and I learned like I, when I came here I was on like 35 miles a week and I just hammered everything um, so I learned from them the sort of mileage and <laughs> pacing that sort of thing and then yeah trying to pass Matt's a bit better at the pacing than I was when I was his age. Not, but, not um, today, not today. <laughs> yeah, not today. <laughs> but no, sort of keep, you know, like helping young ones and then eventually they the old ones sort of thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty good fun. So yeah. what's, at the moment, what's a normal week looking like for you? Uh, that's a great. <laughs> what's, uh, um, a, a brief summary. 
Yeah, so 10 and 4 on Monday and Wednesday with like either weights or circuits, so weights on Monday, circuits Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, then Tuesday would be like 4 in the morning and either we do like 400s on the track or Beacon Road Hills, so us over there somewhere. But that, that's like a classic, um, you hear about like Sebco and that running there, so that's quite nice. Then, in history. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thursday, tempo, so eight miles, and then Friday rest day, Saturday, something like this, and Sunday long run, like 16, so yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's your like total weekly mileage at the moment? Uh, probably around 80, so okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, like, I find that not too bad, like in lockdown, I went crazy in my mileage, so now 80 sort of feels all right, and it's- um, You've developed that yeah. base now from running exactly, from higher yeah, mileage. Yeah, so, but now I'm finding that working pretty yeah, well, yeah. so. And yeah. so last year you ran, is it 7.39 outdoors yeah, last yeah. year? Yeah, I was well for that, yeah. Um, and was that, so obviously that's very quick, so did you expect that going into the race or was it, is that how quick you were targeting or was it a bit of a, sh a shock to actually run that? Yeah, it was a massive shock, yeah. I sort of, I was targeting maybe like 7.45 or something. Um, so it wasn't, you know, about a second a lap. But um, yeah, it was sort of, I, tape, I did my first sort of big taper for Euro under 23s, which was, what, three days before that? And then that didn't really go to plan. Um, and yeah, we got last minute. So the day after that, I'd done my 10 miler and then I got told I got into the Diamond League sort of thing. Um, someone had dropped out. Uh, so yeah, it was a massive shock. So sort of got back, raced that and um, yeah, just incredible feeling. So sort of. <laughs> I had drugs testing after and <laughs> all the water. So I was, um, till four in the morning, I was up just going to the loo because I drank so much. Oh my goodness. Nightmare. <laughs> but I was, yeah, buzzing, sort yeah. of total four in the morning sort of thing. Um, oh, would yeah. you say that's your Weird. biggest achievement oh, like so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah not come close since. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully on track season we'll, we'll get back up to that sort of thing. Yeah. But we'll see. So is yeah. the plan for track season then, is your focus mainly on 5K this year? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, well, we'll see. We'll try and get the world's time, but mostly focusing on like commies and Euros. Um, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of championships this year. So yeah, yeah. There's a lot of spots available, isn't mm -hmm. there? Again, yeah, we'll sort of, We'll see how it, yeah how it ends up because there's a lot of good guys at the moment with like Paddy, uh, Mark, Andy, Sam Atkin, all of those, uh, Jack Rowe of course. Um, so yeah, we'll see see how that goes.